Hello, this is Mr. B's finger picking tutorial series. I am going to be exploring six different styles of finger picking, which are going to build up your finger picking skills in a variety of different ways. So I hope these videos are really helpful and uh, useful for you. Uh, if you do enjoy them, please do like and subscribe to help my channel to grow. Okay, here we go. Thank you. This is my sixth finger picking tutorial and we are having our second lesson using our thumb, index and middle finger uh, on a triplet pattern on just the C, E and A strings. Okay, on the bottom three strings. So just to recap very quickly, uh, we're putting our thumb on the C string, our second string down, our index finger on our E string, our third string down, and our middle finger on the A string, which is our bottom string. And they are color coded red, blue, and purple on the diagram. So do have a careful look at that. And don't forget, you can, as always, download my finger picking images and all my other music on my channel through my Dropbox account. And the link to that is in the description below the video. So let's have a look at today's pattern. Today we're starting on a D chord. It works really nicely, but you've got to be quite quick and careful with your chord changes on this one because with the finger picking, it's very precise, the sounds that you create. So you've got to make sure your chords are held nice and tightly and you change very quickly and smoothly in between. So that's part of the exercise, part of the learning challenge there. So we're starting on a D, going to a G chord, back to an A and then the D at the end. So I don't know why I said back, D, G, a and then back to the D there. Right, so let's start on the D and let's just do a quick practice. So it's D and it's the C, C string, E string, A string. Just like that, okay? So we do that four times, then we move on to the G. So let's do it as a pattern slowly to begin with. D. Now to the G chord. And the A chord. and the D chord. And remember, we're not touching that G string in today's video. One more time on the D. To the G. A. And the D. And there we go, and that's today's pattern. And if you weren't able to keep up with my playing, if you're not quite comfortable at that uh, at that speed yet, at that tempo, that's uh, well, that's the purpose of the exercise. So uh, take that away, have a look at the image, and just work through it slowly at your own speed. Find your finger positions, find what you're doing, and uh, and just work up to that speed. And hopefully in the next few days, you'll be able to work up to the speed and, and play along at the tempo that uh, I've just done in the video. And then you'll be ready to move on to the next exercise. Okay, thank you everyone, do take care. Thank you.